hello folks so I'm just going to show the uh, how I'm processing the uh, images that I have so right now you'll see that I got a couple of images already which is basically this one the inner part is gold and the outer part is blue this one which is basically that one um, blue and then gold but you see the uh, background is bluish this one is perfect because it's blackish and look at these stars so those are the things that I'm doing whenever I'm processing the images I'm actually looking at the stars this one I can really see the halos which is uh, okay but uh, I can fix that later but um, this is perfect perfect candidates for my final anyway so these guys these two guys came from this guy which is basically a combination of it's an HA, O3, and S2. doesn't really matter for me, but uh, as long as I got those channels, I can mix and match. So that's fine. And um, let's look at the history of this guy. Uh, let me do everything here. Uh, probably that's the thing that I missed. So we can do this. I can put on the clone and then there you go so that's how I got the image anyway and then that's hmm, for some reason I did change something here there you go okay let's close this now all right so this is what we should get from the initial combination and from uh, doing the noise uh, so this is a noise cancellation if you go here noise i mean noise reduction senr that's the part all right let's do this um i'm going to pause if the process is going to take a long time and just continue from that when it's finished all right so it's uh doing that i'll just pause now all right so continue with this this is the product of the combination the lrgb combination before we go there let me just look at this subs that we have this is HA my HA is very clear uh, very little noise and the detail looks so good there you go you see that and of course O3 also good got a lot of details also with that and S2 this one is a little bit noisy but still got a lot of detail so all of my subs are very good in terms of the quality now let's put them aside let's. and by the way just to add all these images add that one I lost it all these images are all non-linear so this is a non-linear and as you see, I, I've already um, used the uh, screen transfer function. So do those to your subs first um, before you do the, uh, or before I do the uh, combination. So those are what I have, and this is what we got from that combination. Um, here, I'm going to apply, so this is the goal here. I'm going to apply SCNR to green then this will give me a reddish image there you go and now I can remove the red there you go still a lot of green it's because of this that's why we're removing twice green and then we should get some blue now there you go so it's similar to that one now all right so the key here is just like what I did here we can basically do the curves or do whatever processing so that's the start and that is essential for how you can do things properly to get to this kind of colors actually this one is an effect of the uh, Hubble palette but that should be okay 
All right. Hmm. Let's do a little bit of curves so we can show. So this is the saturation you guys can play here. I usually play all those uh, values in there to get to the maximum. Um, the saturation will give us a very good look. Or there you go. And then you can see the blue there. Then we can probably lower down the red. Um, it's becoming green. Do uh, remove a little bit of red. I mean blue. There you go. So it depends on how you want to put it, but usually that's uh, what I do in terms of if I got this kind of images, and I can just use the uh, curves transformation. Let's go to this image. Okay, I'll just close this now. It's just to show how I got the combination arrived to that kind of uh, or all right, let's continue working on this. And let's use what we have for this guy. So the history from this guy, the clone. There you go. Curves transformation, a lot of them. And technically that's it. So if we look at this guy, there you go. So almost the same. Okay, let's apply some of those. Mm -hmm. changing uh, another one so you just need to make it very very um, the changes should be very very small curves okay and then to GB the noise and then last thing is this calibration so let's do that I'm not going to apply the morphological uh, transformation. This thing will take a very long time, but this is probably the last step, so I'll just show it to you. Um, so I have um, a couple of those captures already, and I'm, I'm trying to debate which one is the one that I'm going to use. That one or this one? This one is prettier. Because here I applied a little bit of the uh, automatic background um, correction thing. And look at the background. Uh, I don't really like it. Failure could not be solved. Alright, where is my... Where is my photo process color calibration photometric? And this is the... Okay. Force plate solving. All right, let's do that again. So once you come up to this image, um, I think it depends on how, why. Anyway, I was able to do that, but uh, I'm not sure what happened here. So there's a little bit of a noise removal that you can do, but this is like the basic. Once you got that, I mean this one, then you should be able to get the colors, the right colors, which is the blue, the gold, just like what I have here. All right, folks, um, probably that's it. I'll probably just create another um, tutorial on how to get to this kind of two images with the, all the process steps that I did. All right, um, 
Thanks for watching.